finally tackling that oil leak on the C5. I got some time tonight. Uh, I addressed it in the last video that I made, but uh, if you didn't watch and you're watching this time, it was the oil temp sensor. Uh, it's located above the oil filter. There's a little two bolt flange. Kind of looks like a water neck to a thermostat almost, but uh, I noticed that it was wet there. The uh, oil filter was wet too. And then after I would do a pull or I'd be, you know, some sprinted driving or something, I'd let off, I could smell oil burning. And I always thought it was like a, you know, PCV valve or something like that, or the sending unit on the back, but it was actually that. And uh, like the side of my header, obviously it's stainless steel, but still stains with oil, whatever. But you could tell it was like kind of spraying or dripping there. So uh, when I got out of it tonight, I was looking at it and I kind of like, not poked it, but like wiggled it and it was like moving. I'm like, well, that's not good. So it was actually loose. So I don't know if whoever had it before me, because I bought the car used, changed it, which I know they did because this is a Delphi brand and that's not what's factory on this car. Um, this, is one of the, this is the factory replacement and this is the one that was in it. Um, yeah, so it, was, it came out by hand, which is definitely not good. And I'm hoping that whoever changed it didn't strip the threads out, which it's kind of hard to tell because it's literally up underneath the motor by the exhaust. But I'm going to thread this one in down, torque it down. I saw it was like 15 foot-pounds. You can't get a torque wrench in there, so I'm going to go a little arm strong with a, a little mini ratchet. I shouldn't get it too, too tight. But I'm wondering, too, if, you know, maybe just with the location by the headers and the heat and everything that just... The crush washer just got to that point. As you can see, it's got a copper one on it right there. The crush washer just lost its seal. Same thing with the, uh, the Permatex that does come on it. You can see right there. So maybe it just lost its seal. I don't know. But uh, if you're having that oil leak after a gear, you know, you smash second gear, you smash third gear, do a full pull, whatever you want to call it. Full pull! Right? Probably getting copyrighted for that. Anyways, uh... Give that a shot. Maybe that's uh, your oil leak. See ya.